So what's the best way of reaching four stars in Text Broker? Well, I'm Michael with Rider Sanctuary, and today we're going to take a look at what you can do right now to improve your chances. Now, getting to a four star status in Text Broker vastly improves how much money you can make on the system. There are often more open orders for four star authors, there's a better chance of getting direct orders, and there's far more teams that you can join. And because there is such a huge difference in available work that everybody should be striving to reach four stars. However, not everybody puts in the same amount of effort to improve themselves on the system. And in reality, working to reach four stars in Text Broker helps you in your freelance writing career outside of the system. I know I wouldn't be where I am today with private clients if it wasn't for using content mills like Text Broker and learning everything I possibly could. And recently I've been asked a few times if I could create a four star account and then sell it to another author. Not only is this kind of a shady practice and against their terms of service, but it also really doesn't help you as a freelance writer on Text Broker. I mean, what if your skills aren't good enough to maintain your four star status? You could lose it within the first review from the editors. Well, the first time I reached four stars, I only had it for like three days before I got knocked back down to a three. And a few months later, I was able to get a four and maintain it for the last six years. So all it takes is one review from the editors to knock you down from a four to a three. So buying a four star account when you're not a four star writer is essentially a waste of money. And if you have the ability to maintain a four star account, then you should be getting it yourself. I also don't believe in buying your way into success. I worked hard for where I am today and so should you. I'm sorry, but if you want to get a four star on text broker, you got to do it the right way. So what does that entail? Well, first of all, you want to make sure your profile is completed beyond 80% if possible. I've talked about making your profile shine in a previous video and I can't stress enough how important it is for a profile on Text Broker. It's how clients will find you on Text Broker for direct orders, team orders, and it's how Text Broker team managers will find you for team invites. So you want to make sure your Text Broker profile is completed beyond 80%. Why only 80%? Because you not might be able to reach 100% complete. This is because of how Text Broker works some of its add-ons. For instance, my profile sits at 88% and I won't get any higher unless I learn a second language I can write in. Since I'm not bilingual, I can't add on to more of that percentage rate. So make sure your public profile is completely filled out, including an actual picture of yourself. Clients want to see who you are, not an avatar. It's part of being professional. In fact, I'm debating on changing the logo for my channel on YouTube to being my picture. Although your profile doesn't impact your star rating directly, it's still instrumental for gaining clients and work. And the more work you do will impact your star rating. And if you haven't seen my video for text broker profiles, I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can also watch it by clicking on the card that I'll put here on the screen. Next, you want to learn all you can about AP style writing. As text broker focuses on AP style writing, it only makes sense to learn all you can about it. This is easy enough to come by if you do a Google search. In fact, I've spent hours upon hours in Google learning how to write in AP style and refine my skill. Sure, it took a long time for Oxford commas to get knocked out of my head, but it was worth the effort in the long run. Perhaps one of the best things you can do is keep a notebook handy so when text broker editors do send you feedback that you can write down all the things that you need to work on and then spend some time in Google to figure out how to fix it. And yes, I kept a notebook for myself for the first couple of years I was writing. The next thing you want to focus on is learn all you can about SEO writing. Now most of your clients in text broker are going to be website owners looking for content. The more you know about writing for search engine optimization, the better. And trust me, there's a huge difference between writing articles and one that's more fine tuned for SEO. First of all, writing for SEO means that your content is much easier to read. Personally, I try to keep the flesh reading score of my work above 70. Not only does it look better for clients, but I also found it much easier to write. When you keep the content to as easy to read as possible, you don't have to worry about some of the more advanced grammar mistakes that you can make. This means your content looks amazing to clients and text broker editors have less to tag you for. And I can tell you from experience that using systems like WordPress and Yoast SEO has vastly improved my writing abilities. In fact, I haven't had a revision request since I started using WordPress with Yoast SEO installed. And if you're curious about this, I'll leave a link to the video in the description down below. And again, you can click the card that I'll put right here. The next thing you want to do to reach four stars is to keep yourself busy with orders. Keep yourself working as much as humanly possible in Text Broker. This also means you should try turning work around as quickly as possible. If a 500 word order isn't due for three days, get it done inside 30 minutes anyway. A fast turnaround means you have a greater chance to pick up more orders. And it looks good when you're trying to attract direct order clients. At one point, it was commonplace for me to do between 10 and 20 articles a week, depending on if there's enough orders available in three star pool. 
Not only that, but textbook managers will notice when you're one of the top producers on the website. This is one of the biggest reasons why I was added to a five-star team, even though I was only a four-star author. I'm good, I'm fast, and I'm easy to work with, which is exponentially great in TextBroker in terms of getting added to teams because they know they can rely on me. And that vastly improves your reputation. You might even find some of the TextBroker managers directly sending you emails to invite you to upcoming teams that aren't even published yet. This helps your process to get reviewed for being a four star because it gives them more broad scope of the type of work you can do. It's kind of like having a bunch of lottery tickets. The more you have, the greater are your chances of winning. But what if there's not enough work for a three-star writer? Editors will rank you according to the last five articles that you completed. So if you can at least get five under your belt, then you just have to wait for them to review it. Also bear in mind that a lot of content mills go through what they call as seasons. Sometimes of the year just seem to have more work than others, and it's quite common, and I've seen it myself when I was working for TextBroker. And I know that it can be quite frustrating when you're waiting for work and the pool just says zero all the time, but rest assured, it does come in spurts. There'll be zero orders available one day, and then all of a sudden somebody will drop like 1,200 orders for three stars the next. So you just kind of have to keep your eye open for it. But if you're looking for a regular flow of income, I suggest using more than just one content mill at a time. Personally, I bounce between TextBroker, Writer Access, and Fiverr back and forth throughout the day, working where I could find it. This helped keep me busy, and I had some money coming in while I was waiting for my four-star rating. The next thing you can do to achieve four stars is to practice as often as you can. One of the things that helped me most to reach four stars in TextBroker was constant practice. I practiced what I learned on my own blogs, writing for Vocal.media, and sometimes I even answered questions in Quora. Anywhere that I was able to write anything, I would do it, even if I wasn't getting paid. For myself, it's a great way to drill in all the things that I learned so that I can remember them for next time when I'm actually writing for a client. And if you haven't thought about it before, you can always open up a free account at some place like WordPress.com and just practice blogging there of everything you've learned as a freelance writer. Use platforms like this to practice writing when the workflow is low in TextBroker. Writing is a skill, and like any other skill, you need to keep practiced if you want to be any good at it. And lastly, never assume that you're good enough, even if after you get four stars. After you reach four stars in TextBroker, keep working to improve your abilities. Never assume that you're good enough to get by. Always strive to build yourself up and expand your abilities as a freelance writer. Not only does this improve your success rate on TextBroker, but it'll help you in freelance writing down the road when you want to look for your own clients. For instance, I am constantly reading about SEO writing and how I can improve my abilities. This helps my private clients as well as myself. My point is that you should never stop learning. There's always something new, and then the more you know, the more clients you'll collect over time. So what sites do you use to stretch your literary muscles? Leave them in the comments down below. Personally, I like using Wattpad to fine tune my creative writing skills, and then I have my three blogs when I want to write more, something that's more professional. So if you found the video useful, hit the like button. If you want to learn more about freelance writing, text broker, Wattpad, WordPress, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. I try to create videos when I can, but some days just get screwed up, so. I think that's going to do it for me today. Good luck to you, and I'll see you tomorrow.